So in functional tremor, one technique that we use for diagnosis is entrainment. The idea that if you have a tremor and you then can uh, adopt the frequency of the other task, that entrainment is now what we're using also in some individuals as a treatment. We ask them to essentially do the same movements that's different from the rate that they had at the, be at the beginning, so that in a sense they are adopting a frequency different than they're on. Uh, if they do it very well for a period of over 10 minutes, the longer the better, once they stop doing that task, they don't go back to what they were, they actually go into a pause. And a pause can be very long. That's called a biofeedback strategy for the treatment of tremor. So this is one of the strategies that now we can use uh, at the bedside even as we plan the treatment for patients with functional tremor. Uh, in fact, we explain to them that the diagnosis is made by, in part, ascertaining this feature of entrainment and that we can in fact use that as a treatment and then actually engage in an exercise right there and then with the patient. And when the patients discover that they have this tremor, but that if they actually can entrain it and then after the entrainment, the tremor disappears, that's very powerful. It tells them that the pathways for normal neurological function are preserved, that there isn't a structural impediment to normal function. And that's very powerful for patients to understand in order to adopt that kind of therapy and recognize that there is a great deal of promise in terms of a good outcome.